It's time to open the gates investigation. And that's what we're going to do. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thanks a lot. Thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, what's so interesting is that he's ta talked about so much and had such a controversial uh, attitude in his whole political career. And now this is all depending on the people who are going to talk about what they know about him. So I can't wait to see what happens with this. Let's see what the cards uh, tell us. So this is the Druid Craft Tarot, and uh, it's sort of uh, on the magic of uh, Wicca and uh, Druidity or Druidry. Maybe that's the uh, correct uh, uh, terminology. Uh, Philip and Stephanie Car Gum uh, with illustrations by Will Worthington. Really nice deck. Um, they're a little um, the car. The box is fantastic because you really feel like you got a nice quality uh, gift if you gave that. The guidebook is huge, and uh, the only thing I would say is that it's a shame it's not in full color. But it gives you some some useful uh, divination uh, for the cards in there. So I like that. The cards themselves, the one uh, gripe I have is that you have to dump them out of the box, which I'm not that happy about. But uh, the cards themselves, they're huge, so some people might find them a little awkward to use, but I like them. And uh, the divination that you get out of them is amazing. There's so much thought that went into each picture, every element of each picture. And um, so they're very useful in almost any uh, circumstance. We're going to use these and i like to spread them out like this uh, if i'm doing a reading with someone then i like to usually let them uh, spread them out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards it's a good way to mix them up without you know damaging the cards too much uh, which is uh, always important to me so these cards are fantastic druidcraft tarot okay this is going to be matt gates Matt Gates, are his jailed friends giving him up? I think they are. Are Matt Gates's jailed friends giving him up? Are his jailed friends giving him up? But first, let's do this for a second. Here we go. Okay, so Matt Gates' friends, are they giving him up? Are they, the folks that uh, the, the feds are talking to telling everything about Matt? And when he finally does talk, they're already going to have the answers. So this will just be three cards for this question. I've got a couple more questions. Okay. Are his jail friends talking? I believe they are. Let's see, Matt Gates, first card. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> the Nine of Pentacles is being very fruitful. You can see this uh, maiden here. The Pentacles are just uh, engraved into the wall over here, these Nine Pentacles. So this is very fruitful. This is having a lot of information. Well, that's an interesting way to start out this three-card pull. Are his friends talking? So the Eight of Wands is, oh yeah, lots of things happening at the same time. Uh, wands are forward movement, uh, action, uh, plans, and uh, yeah, they're all stacked up and they're being tossed off at him. Wow. Uh, the last card for that, uh, the, oh, what is this? Is this the Magician? This is, this is like the al Alchemist. But wait, this is number 14, so it can't be the Magician. This is Temperance. Okay, so Temperance is getting just that right balance, like an alchemist, actually. So, uh, yeah, getting just that right balance uh, to make things go. So are his friends? Yeah, they're giving up uh, whatever they have to to make this work for them. Wow. Okay, so the next card 
the next question, rather, um, is the case against Matt Gates getting stronger? Well, if they're giving him up, it is, but this will be kind of a check on that one, won't it? So is the case against Matt Gates specifically, the sex trafficking scenario, is this getting stronger? Three cards for this one, then we have another question. One, two, three. Okay, is the case getting stronger against Matt Gates? First card, two of cups. This is partnerships. So yeah, things are coming together, okay? They're making partnerships with uh, different folks uh, out there regarding this. Very interesting. Okay, the next uh, card for this is uh, Rebirth. So this is the Death card, but, but this is 20. No, this is the World card. So this is Completion. Okay, Rebirth. So one thing is ending and something else is beginning. That's interesting. So is the case getting stronger? I would say it is. Yeah, this is the be beginning of the real strength of the case. And then the Seven of Cups is... Um, Is illusion and delusion. Okay. The Seven of Cups is looking at a thing, but it's not really what you're looking at. That's interesting for this one. So is the case getting stronger? It's, you know, looking at the case, it's their illusion. It's maybe they're sorting it out. I don't know. But so is, is the case getting stronger? We get the Two of Cups, which are partnerships. We get rebirth, which is the end of one thing. One thing is complete and finished, and something new is going to start. I'm going to say that really uh, they've got what they need. And the Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion, uh, not really seeing what you think you're seeing. Could mean so many things. Could mean uh, his illusion and delusion is not working out, or, um, you know, are the prosecutors really seeing what they think they're seeing? Interesting. I'm going to say that probably his time is running out. And then the last question is going to be, let's see, is Matt Gates going to have actual jail time? Six cards for this one. Will Matt Gates actually have time behind bars? Will Matt Gates actually have time behind bars? Okay, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Will he actually have time? behind bars. Wow. That's something else. Okay. Let's see. Will he actually have time behind bars? Okay, this starts off with the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles is, ah, it's kind of doling out the value, okay? Mm -hmm. Giving up the, the, the worth, distributing it uh, back and forth to whom it belongs. That's interesting as a signifier card for a dyadic cross. The challenge to that, then, with this Ten of Wands is it's a heavy burden. This is a heavy a load to carry. Okay, is he going to do jail time? The base of this reading then with the lady. So this is the number three. This is the empress. This is almost like Mother Earth. Interesting. So this starts out, oh, I think this starts out from Mother Earth. Yeah, this is this is kind of, kind of like a karmic uh, justice here that's coming out. Uh, the past of this with the Nine of Wands is really being embattled, really being embattled and um, and wounded and still trying to carry on. Has to be Matt Gates. Uh, and then the sky of this with the Three of Wands is long-term plans. Is he going to do jail time? Yeah, he better plan on it. That's interesting. Is he going to do jail time? And then the likely outcome for this uh, with the Prince of Cups is, okay, so there'll be some compassion. He'll get uh, some consideration here for some reason. Um, and the Prince is uh, like a knight. So that is someone who's bringing that compassion in, uh, you know, with some real determination. Interesting. So, yeah, he's going to do jail time. Uh, maybe it'll be a soft situation. I don't know. It's usually for financial crimes, so but that was what it looks like to me. Uh, there's with the the six of pentacles doling out the worth somehow. Oh, maybe it's determining how much of the guilt uh, he has to serve for. And it's in the um, uh, challenged by this ten of wands. This is a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Uh, this is a karmic justice with uh, the lady, uh, the empress here at the base of the thing, and then with the nine of wands in the recent past. Just you know, it's a long hard row. Three of Wands long-term planning. Yep, yeah, that's the plan for the jail time. And the likely outcome, there'll be some compassion uh, served up to him. That's interesting. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.